<laughs> I'm not worrying about. Don't want everyone on uh, YouTube and Facebook seeing me, but <laughs> anyway, hello, lovelies. We are here at the Cafe Twenty Five on Abingdon Street in Blackpool. If you've not been in, why not? Yummy hot mm. chocolate. Yeah, look at that. I've had my creams. <laughs> Get yourself down here for a nice flavoured hot chocolate and a yummy dinner with Aaron and his lovely family. But today we're joined by Emma and Tommy. And uh, they are from, where are you from? So, I don't know. <laughs> 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 Tommy's like, uh. I'll put you on the spot then, did didn't I? I did, I did say to you that we're winging it. That's nearly as bad as when someone goes, Tommy, a joke. You know, <laughs> <laughs> so what is Solo Parents United? Do you want to go? Oh, you're making me go. <laughs> um, we are a CIC that helps parents who are on their own, basically, so they don't have a partner at home. Um, and it's more to help with loneliness, basically, because there's nothing worse than putting the kids to bed and having no one to talk to. Yeah. So we've got online presence and offline presence where we meet up and do events, but also we do a lot online with advice, support, daft memes, just basically just to... General cast, daftness. Yeah, just to have a conversation <laughs> and not feel like you're the only one in the situation. Oh, that's lovely, that. And I bet there is tons of people out there you've just described yeah. you know put the kids to bed and who, who has time for a social life it's so difficult isn't it between working and sorting the kids i think the kids have more of a social life than anyone else yeah. i think they're especially the ages of about five to eleven are the busiest yes <laughs> <laughs> so if, if someone was wanting to come and join your group what sort of things could they expect to do what have you done this year but in 2023 when yeah. we started We've had a festival, we've done Ben Nevis, we went up as a group up there that we uh, hired, hired, we raised the funds to do yeah. that. And we had fabulous food for that, if I do say so myself. Yeah. The food for it that we paid for, and we had a hot tub, which was really needed after Ben Nevis. Ben Nevis, oh wow. Yeah, uh, we've done a little smaller walks in Yorkshire and around England as well. Um, we had a few trips out, we did uh, Blackpool Tower, we did, I'm trying to think. You did a theme park, didn't you? A couple went to Legoland. Yeah, we did do that as a group. We didn't have enough because we get group discount because we're a CIC as well. So we're passing the discount onto the group too. So we normally need about 10, minimum 10 to 20 yeah. to go. We didn't quite get it as much as we needed, but the others still went and they got a, a, a different offer. And that's sometimes what happens. You know, not necessarily what we've done. It, they could put their own events up or they've you know they've talked to people in the group and gone oh, actually look i'm going there should we meet up on this day yeah yeah let's meet up so it's it works in all different directions really as well so do you go out pretty often on your groups days out and stuff we, yeah we it kind of go out we try to do one at least once a month don't we at but least it's, yeah uh, but it's usually like every other week yeah have, um a lot of you know really fun sort of things that we do and some of them are adult only because we have an adult only group as well because obviously some don't have the kids all the time. Oh, that's good to mention then. Yeah, um, so that's not a CIC, that's just, it's part and parcel but it's not part of the CIC. So people don't have to be parents who are in it. They can be like Tommy who's not had kids yet <laughs> or they could be the kids have grown up or the children go to the other parent over the weekends or whatever and we, we just meet up with that so we've, we've done quite a few yeah that, we went to we? liverpool a few weeks ago for christmas we did the christmas markets in liverpool there's oh, eight of us yes it's great is that eight of us but some of us had the our older kids with us who were single people too and yeah. so the older the younger ones were there and we had we just had a mixture of ages, it was really good. We went on a whole thingy of crazy adults who I had had a little drink before. We oh, yeah, on, 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 on electric scooters, so. Yeah, they were. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about the electric scooters. Oh, gosh. Watch out, the bum. <laughs> yeah, it's been just fun, hasn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was uh, hilarious seeing one of our members just flying by. Memories, memories. Before we continue, I am in heaven right now. Oh. Gingerbread hot chocolate. Oh. Are you keeping hold of the Christmas spirit? Oh, yes. Yes. oh, they're so delicious, guys, honestly. Get yourself down and you can get a takeaway one. But back to the interview. 
So, if someone wants to find you on Facebook, what's the exact name of your page? Solo Parents United. It's Solo Parents United. But the group is where it happens, really, which is SPU UK, standing for Solo Parents United. Right. UK. So you send me the links. United you send me the exact links to yep. those and I'll put them in the description. It's also the so one with the rainbow heart. Yes, they are rainbow. Because yes. everybody is in the same storm, but we're on different boats, but we're getting to the rainbow at the end. Hey, hey. And just to mention as well, um, the safeguarding aspect, if you want to give them a quick run through that, because that is important for some people. Yeah, uh, basically, uh, myself and Tommy come from a domestic abuse background. And the most important thing to us is keeping everyone safe and groups like this tend to get a lot of people coming in who try and get into the group for many reasons, whether they're an ex or they think they're vulnerable and they can scam them and stuff like that. So we do check profiles before we let them in. And then if we're a bit suspicious of them, um, we'll ask them to send us ID, photo ID, so we can make sure it's the same person whose profile it is. Yeah. And again, if they're in the group and we feel they're a bit suspicious, we will give them a warning. And then for any reason, if they just don't follow the safeguarding or put a family in trouble, or we found out the scamming and stuff like that, we will remove them from the group. Plus we are um, also on a different sort of point of view as well. We are also... We were able to do referrals for uh, stuff like people who are suffering from domestic abuse, help them to get court orders, that sort of thing. Oh, that's great. Shelly, um, please. I, oh, I, <laughs> I was like, I don't think I <laughs> No, it's important though with the safeguarding as well to mention that any mm. events that you go into don't get put up publicly until afterwards, yeah. you know, for a safe. The only thing reason. we put publicly is if we're doing a fundraiser where everyone can attend, but yeah. we let the group know that it is public and they choose and if they want to come or not. So oh, we always make everyone stuff. aware. Well, Maya's family are going to be joining them this year. We're going to be going on some of their outings. And, of course, we'll take our camera along with us. Because when do I ever go anywhere without a camera? Never. <laughs> I was in the bath last night and my camera was there, <laughs> sat watching me. And I was like, hello. That's, yeah, that's really taking really it a step too far. Wait until you see the video for the hotel. Yeah. I hope you were wearing a bathing suit. <laughs> I had the shower curtain now. It's <laughs> peekaboo, and I was like, Katie, you're off your head. Go to bed. Did you do that trick? <laughs> Barry said to me when I got home, why didn't you do the Home Alone song, remember? <laughs> no, I'm the heaviest care. Yeah. You could edit that in. I could have stuck <laughs> <laughs> no, I really do look forward to joining you and I hope that with this video um, that there's someone out there that is sat there lonely on a night and you know they need some support, they want some friends, they want to go on outings, get in touch, they are a great bunch. They're a bit crazy but they're a great bunch. I think a bit is an understatement. <laughs> we are very crazy. You can't understate that. No, I think it's important, isn't it, to, to advertise it and get it out there. It's, yeah. it's good for people. So we're going to leave it there and um, make sure you come into Cafe 25. Definitely. Hot chocolates. <laughs>